Well, at last, at last, I've been waiting a week to do this. WTBC's count, well, I'm going to count down WTBC's playlist a week of May 22nd, 1964. I've counted down WSGN's playlist, that's from Birmingham, and I also counted down uh, one of my fantasy playlists from the 80s, but this is different. This is special, because I grew up on WTBC, one of the prime top 40 stations in the 60s and 70s, and May 22nd, 1964, and the throes of the British Invasion. There are six British Invasion hits on this countdown, but the main thing is the lost 45s, and it's not just that they're lost. Some of them have absolutely vanished completely lost in the midst of time. Can they be retrieved? Will I be able to find all this on YouTube? I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hope to die. <laughs> Cross my heart. Hope to die. At number 40, it is the Beatles' John Lennon on one of his jealousy ramps. Sort of a precursor to some of his other jealousy records like Jealous Guy. You can't do that. Number 40 on WTBC's playlist. You can't do that. It's the B-side of you. Of, uh, you Can't Buy Me Love. This song was recorded on February 25th, 1964 at Abbey Road Studio. They started on a couple other records beside that, but they didn't finish these. Uh, I Should Have Known Better and And I Love Her. Uh, they, they started on, these, on this record. They, they started on this record session a, a week before they started filming A Hard Day's Night. There's a couple of notes. Well, there's one note. I got, you got to remember this. You got to remember this. If you don't get anything out of this video, get something out. Just remember this. George Martin produced the record. Okay, everybody knows that. Norman Smith was the engineer. I know he worked on And I Love Her, and he probably worked on this record at all. Now you're thinking, who the hell is Norman Smith? Norman Smith was probably around 44, 45 at the time. He worked on some of the early Beatles records. Uh, up until about 1965. But the thing about Norman Smith to remember is he later became Hurricane Smith and had that huge hit in Christmas 1972. Oh, babe, what would you say? Number 40, it is the Beatles. John Lennon on lead vocals. This is a John Lennon record, period. You can't do that. So don't even try.